friendly fire inducing, but yeah. You see my case so far. Yeah, of course. The Fashion Code Hot Collectibles here, and today I have a dope tech build. I was playing with a pro Russian player of Aliens Fireteam Elite. This player was super, super pro. And I, and I noticed when this player was playing, they had the normal sentry turret. I was going to make a build with a normal sentry turret because it's so nostalgic. Let's see how they, this pro-Russian Aliens Fireteam Elite player, plays with the tech with a normal turret. The reason they said they use the normal turret? I'll get into it after the intro, but first, roll the... Yeah. He had a dream to play Aliens Fire Team. He collects themes. He's got high self esteem. He's credible. He's unforgettable. He's commendable. He's MD Fashion Code Dog Collectibles. Okay. So, the reason this individual said they wanted a normal turret was not because it's nostalgic. Not because it sounds cool, which is the reason I would use it, but because it doesn't obscure the view of other players. What the heck is that? That's crazy because the flames obscure the view of other players. I would have thought that the flames are just always better because it does splash damage and all that. But uh, we'll have to see the numbers there on that one. But this individual was using ability damage and real time resource reclamation. When the turret is destroyed, it explodes. What the heck? So it turned the it turned the turret into a bomb, essentially. Dynamic delivery system. Your turret now fires 10% faster and deals 25% more damage to armor. So it's buffing up the regular turret. And it's not playing the heavy turret. How interesting is that? Also, resonating impact. Whenever you, whenever you or your turret stumble a target, they take 10% more damage. Your turret get, Gains a 10% chance to stumble. Yeah, this is this we use on, on my regular build anyway. This, I believe, I use on my regular build too. Uh, yeah, I think I use that one too. And then these these are pretty standard, only using a duration and recharge speed on the charge coils, whereas I use two durations. Because the duration is very important, because when you stick it to an elite, you want it to stay there as long as possible, or as long as you can feasibly do. Compatibility matrix. While this ability is active, you deal 10% more damage. Seems pretty good because charge coils are active and then disruptive technology. Charge coils reduces your damage dealt by affected enemies 25%. I disagree with this personally. Why the hell would you need to reduce the damage of, of uh, enemies by 25% when you're not even close to them? Like because you've, you've coiled them already. So I disagree with that one. But hey really interesting build let's just try it on a uh, priority one rescue yeah we'll play it we'll play it on insane is somewhere up on and then we'll the just we'll see deck. how how Looks this like works in practice so i love it because it sounds cool our and what my changed. favorite scenes Find in aliens are well some of my favorite scenes in aliens are the the sentry turret scenes and the sentry turret has been a staple of aliens throughout the life of aliens in aliens games the sentry turret's been an enemy to xenos forever so let's see if we can use it here but i still believe even after looking at this build i still believe that that the uh the flame turret is better but it goes to show if you're a pro player perks mean less perks mean absolutely less all right let me trigger this and we'll go back to go back to the turret, and then we'll see it see it work out. Whoa! Okay, it's already dead. So on insane, that did not really work out. But hey, I think it exploded, and uh, I think it exploded and killed the Xenos, at least. See, whereas if this was if that was a uh, a uh, flame turret, I dare say it would have been better. Because... Oh, what the heck? Because the flame turret does does simply more damage. Alright, let's try this. Alright, let's see it shoot. Cool. Sounds very cool. Gets one shot by a prowler, though. Yeah, nah. But look, 
the, the player who was playing this was a certified pro. This individual was playing insane. Uh, we are playing insane campaign, taking zero damage, okay? So, this is a certified pro player, but goes to show, the perks aren't the most important thing. What is more important is, can you go back? Pow! Pow! Can you one-shot those runners? That is the most important thing. Can you do the damage? A lot of y'all boys need to do a lot more damage. Anyway, let me know what y'all think of this nostalgic... This nostalgic tech build. Whoa! Look at that. Spawn of four bursters. I'm gonna kill these and then I'm gonna be out. So join the Steam group and Discord group below, ladies and gentlemen. Help me, turret. Help me! There we go. Watch it explode. Oh, it did absolutely no damage to those bursters. How? Alright, I'm gonna see y'all boys later. MD Fashion Code or Collectibles. Innovative tech build from Russia? From a pro player? Perks aren't actually that important. What's more important is that you can go pow, pow, and kill runners in one shot. That's real. Oh, we got some more. They want some mo. They want some mo. They keep going, keep sending the bursters. I. Right. I'm a slide. Ah! See, what's more important is that you can actually play the game. And I say that as I die. I'll see y'all boys later. Goodbye. Oh, y'all turn up right now. If you join the Patreon for $2.50 a month, you get a shout out on the videos and get to go to the Discord channel with the pros. Boys can't comment in or can't chat in unless they part of the Patreon thing. So look down below for the link and tell me what you think, boy.